Hey what's up guys, I'm Styler and welcome to my unboxing and first impressions of the Lenvo Les 1, a new stylish standalone smartwatch just released today with built-in camera, SIM tray and Android 5.1 OS. So let's start the video. Like many of the smartwatches from Lenvo, it comes in the black cardboard box with the Lenvo logo on top. But besides that, there are no informations printed. Only on the back we find a FCC and CE logo. So let's have a look inside. First we find an English user manual explaining the design, features and functions. Then we have the stylish watch in metal. And out of the box it comes with a pre-installed screen protector. But as you maybe notice, the band is actually made in plastic. So let me first take it out and put it aside. Let's see what we else get in the box. A small screwdriver, and I guess that is for the cover for the SIM tray. A standard black micro USB cable, so you can charge it and also connect it to a PC. And last, a small round charging dock with some magnetic pins to hold the watch in place. Now let's have a close look at the design. The band is made of plastic, while the frame and front is of metal. On the right we find a red multifunction button, a built-in camera and a microphone hole. On the left we have the speaker and that's it. Let me now also open the band. The quality seems pretty good and it's very flexible as you can see here. So this small part here is made of metal and it seems solid. On the back we find a heart rate sensor, connectors for the charging dock and a cover for the built-in SIM tray, which is locked by a small screw. One thing to notice is that the backside is just made of plastic, so this is not metal. So let me now remove the screen protector, so we can have a closer look at the front glass. The glass is 2.5D curved in the edge and I think this is the first time I see that on a China smartwatch of this type. But it looks pretty nice and so far I really like this design. It looks very modern and kind of sporty. So let me try to mount the charging dock. It fits perfectly fine and the magnetic pins I would say are average strong. So you can place it like this face down or better just on the side like this and you will not scratch the front. Here you can also see that the magnetic pins are strong enough to hold the watch in place. Let me now open up for the SIM tray. Let's remove this small cover and behind it we find a SIM tray which is for a nano SIM card only. Now let me turn it on and we see the typical Lempo start animation and that it says Lempo less one. And here you see the first dock watch face. Wow, this looks really cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't go from edge to edge. You may notice here that the rounded outer edge of the glass will not be used for the display. But let me check and show you the rest of the standard built-in watch faces that comes out of the box. And in the end you see a plus sign, which means you can download more designs from Lemfo's server when you are connected to Wi-Fi with the watch. But back to the first one again, which has this cool animation and vivid colors. The watch is using an AMOLED display and the colors, black values and viewing angles are really good. When I slide to the left we have the notifications. From the top and down we have the battery level, date and time. In the bottom we find the weather. You can also slide to the right and we find the quick toggles. And one step more we have the pedometer. It has support for motion wake like most new smartwatches. But unlike some other models, you really see a big difference when you change the brightness. With the motion wake, it will just display a more simple clock to save battery. So here we have the apps and features like contacts, phone, settings, 
browser and so on, like we know it from many smartwatches. Let's just also check the file manager. Here you can see the memory and internal storage. And unlike the Lempo LEM5, this watch also has a built-in camera with object tracking, a bit like seen on the smartwatch called KW88. It's working good and it seems to be okay fast. Let me take one picture. And yeah, I can in fact zoom with two fingers. So the display has support for multi-touch. Nice. And let me just scroll fast through some of the most common settings. So you can have a quick look. In about we see support for wireless OTA and that it runs with OS Android 5.1. Also the left there is also a built-in music player that can play music from the internal storage. It of course also has an app for the heart rate monitor. Let me just check that out so you can see that it is in fact working. I'm just trying here with my fingers, so I'm not sure how accurate this then will be. Well, it does get some values a bit low as you see, but it works. When you hold the power button down, it will bring up this menu where you can also access a task manager. And I think this is very good to have when you want to multitask between some apps or if you want to close them. So here you see the watch on my arm. This should give you an idea about the size of this watch. It's a little bit slimmer than some of my other smartwatches, but the overall size seen from the front seems a little bit bigger, but that could also be because of the curved front glass. So overall, this is a pretty cool looking smartwatch with a nice sporty round design. Unlike the Lempo LEM5, the less one uses less materials made in metal like for example the back cover, but that is not necessarily a bad thing because this makes the watch lighter and more comfortable to wear. I especially also like the 2.5D curved front glass. The edge of the glass is slightly rounded and these small details make it just look better than previous smartwatches. So that was my unboxing and first impressions of the Lempo Lesbian.